What is happening, YouTube? It's your boy Austin Big Night Gaming here, and we are back with another week of the um taking the Detroit Lions to the Super Bowl. Well, I'm trying to get in the Super Bowl at least. Um let's see here. Last week we got a dub against the Washington Commanders. So we're moving on to the next week. Oh, I was like, what the heck are you? All right, all right. So let's see. We got the Packers at 2-0, and and the rest of the division is 0-2. Let's do it. We're going to make the Vikings at 0-3. Um, we got a breakout linebacker. All right, all right. Let's do it. Hold the Vikings less than 250 total yards or get a RDP. We got this. Uh, who's ready to negotiate them contract? These players are on the last year of their contract. Resign them to avoid losing them next season. All right. So Demarcus Lawrence, thirty years old, really good left in. Choose from four preset offers that range in level of risk. Let's see here. Do this one. And then 33 year old center. <clears throat> Let's make him the smart offer. <laughs> all right we'll try something else next week with him but you know i feel like uh, we're gonna delegate we're gonna delegate this too uh, no we're not gonna delegate that cool but yeah so i feel like we can find a decent center maybe we'll have to look in the draft and see uh, plan our weekly strategy so at least what do we got to go against? We got Leonard Fournette and Ryan Tannehill. I'm not scared of either one of those, honestly. We're going to keep the inside run defended. They've got Miles Garrett. Counter the blitz, bro. And then... I want two ta passing touchdowns. We're going to allow 14 points or less. Yeah, I feel like against this 0-2 offense, we can do that. I want our offense to get at least 250 yards. And... Let's double down on that, um... What was it? We have to get, like, under 200... We have to let them have under 250 yards. Double down. Bro, under 200 yards. Upgrade players. Let's go. Who gets upgraded? Tyler Lockett. That's what I like to see. Uh, Tyler Lockett's like our number one, I'm pretty sure. So there's no reason he's not really going to do too much slot. Let's make a playmaker. Playmaker and deep threat is what we need him to go up to. So <clears throat> I'll take that. And then points into my coach. I got 21 or 22 points. Oh, I spent all of my money on like, or on my point money. I spent all of the points on like making sure the defense is just freaking stacked. All right, let's get into this game. It is time for the game this week. And uh, we are not going to forget to go into advanced settings and go to kicks. <laughs> yeah, let's go. 
it's week three of the NFL. Week three. Look at that man walking in here all smug with his 0-2 record. And listen here, Ryan Tannehill. He still ain't gonna do anything. And it's coming up next on EA Sports. Like, our defense is gonna hold him. Our defense is gonna hold this man. A very warm day outside by Minnesota standards, but then again, it is still summer. Either way, the AC is working just fine at US Bank Stadium in the Twin Cities. Today, it's Let's week go, three. baby. Week three, we're trying to go up to an over 500 record. This offense against the defense that will take no prisoners out there. It's going to be a big time battle, and I think that both we have a massive defense out there. Um, the I'm really excited to, to see how it does for us, honestly. All right, here we go. It's time to kick the ball. Two weeks have come and gone. It's All right. Week three and we're Steelers beat the Browns. And we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff. Not to make, I, I, I don't think I'm too worried about like the Steeler Browns thing right now because they AFC. I see the Steelers doing pretty well, but I don't think we even play them this year, do we? That was the last year thing we did. We don't play the AFC North this year, so it's like... That is a beautiful, beautiful run. Three yards. Is Zeke Elliott? Oh, yeah. How about the head letters for that? They got both. <clears throat> Ooh. All right, Devontae Smith, we're going to have to, like, do something to him because that man is... Not what I like to see. After double coverage. That's a nice completion that can set the tone for things to come if they're able to keep finding ways to beat with the defense is throwing at them. They look like they're confident that they can get it done. So is Hornet injured? Or is Zeke just getting the bulk of the roles after a poor performance? Because Hornet might be injured. But why would they have me train against him? We're getting off this. We're getting on to something. You know, like the back guy or something. Mm -hmm. You see, that dude broke through. Number 22. If my character was on him, he would have, he would have like jumped at him or something. Beautiful throw, and what's the flag? And they're gonna get this to about the 44 yard line. Oh, come on, get out of here, Bulaga. They were looking to throw, holding on a big right tackle. That's no simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You should have picked up a holding call. Tua sets up to pass it. Left side complete to lock it. And down he goes at the Boo, I got to gotta make a note of that. 
<laughs> well, it's on my mind. Backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Caught left side, Williams. And at the 49 yard line, no further. And obviously, he is well short at first. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And uh, now fourth down. We're able to get the completion, but unfortunately, not able to get the third down conversion there on that play. And I like how the defense approached that one. They knew what the first down All right. was, and they decide whatever you want to have, you can. Mm. Fourth and eight, down. yep, terrible. Right there. On fourth down, AJ Cole comes on to I am gonna, I'm gonna be gangster with this to try and put him deep. And the kicks away as he angles this one for the sideline. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll yeah. Inside the 10, baby. That is the punt we like to see. We don't want to see a punt very often, but bro, put him inside the 8. Holding? What's the holding call? Give me the hold. That's on the big guard, Gabe. Let's go. Let's go. Up the middle. Here's Elliot. Had a decent move. No, not Collins. Just outside of the five. Mm. Looks like a hamstring. No, or not a it looks like a quad. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, like a quad, maybe a hamstring injury. Um, hopefully he's not down too long. He's walking off the field. Oh, he's getting taken to the back though. God, I don't like to see that. Um, I don't like to see that at all. I'm gonna keep blitzing him. On second and eleven now. Dislocated hip. Not what I like to see. And I think he'll take that. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. Mm, that was almost a pick, baby. That was almost a pick. We should have got that. The Vikings send out their punter as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. Mm, all right. Well to do enough. Priority alert. What's going on? Houston. Chicago is up on Houston. All right. Let's go. Aaron Rodgers. You ain't owning nothing. Devin Singletary. A first quarter touchdown there. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And he is going to be stuck. That's not what I want to see. Two yards the loss. Second and 12. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. On second and 12, Tua. Tua, get rid of it. Gets there and Tua is be taken down. What was that? Let my guy up. <laughs> Bro, did you see that? They wouldn't let my guy up. No score. This has been a <laughs> not a great game. To begin the second quarter, as they've got it with a third down and long coming up. Here's Tua. Complete. This is Lewis, and he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the forty-five. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. <laughs> and <laughs> <they> <laughs> scored. 
Let's go. Let's go. That's what I like to see. We got everything under that kick. Expecting to attempt a kick of 62 yards. Charles not only attempt it, but make it one of the longest kicks that we've ever seen. Yeah, I'm not sure you ever go into a game. Let's go. Kick one of this distance, but all the better kickers, they do dream of it. And they show what they can do in practice and convince their coaches to give them a chance. That would surely pay it off. Minnesota's offense takes over possession. Um, feeding the ball to Jamal Williams is going to be the big thing of the rest of this half and the second half. Division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra injury. I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them. And now he lost the football. Tannehill loses it. Hey. Let's take it. For them to cough it up. Lucky to have recovered because had the defense gotten it, they were already within a shadow of the goal post. For real, like you're yelling at your own defense. Sudden change, sudden change. That's not what you want to hear on your sideline. That means you got to run out there and try and stop an offense who has the ball in a very advantageous position. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Fumbles it again. Oh my god, let's go. Let's go. Two fumbles in a row. I'm telling you, the defense. And you just know they're pinning their ears back and coming after him. Sometimes even with extra pressure. And he he knew that. I mean, he knew they were coming. He just fumbled it. Yeah, he knew it. The offensive line knew it. Everyone did. And, and there's the cheer Jamal Williams, baby. He is the man. That touchdown monster. He set the record in real life, and he's about to, he's about to do some stuff in our season. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to ten zip. That defense. The defense is gonna carry. We just need Tua to make key plays in the playoffs. So the defense will carry through the beginning of the regular season when teams are like finding their their rhythm and whatnot. We just need Tua to learn his rhythm towards the end of the season and not get injured. If he gets injured, I don't know what we're going to do, honestly. Trade the house? Because we traded, because we traded what, Goff and a couple picks for him. Um, so like, we'd have to trade the house to get something else. <laughs> Go sign a free agent and hope. Start the drive with Elliott. That's to about the 28. Second down. Sign a free agent and hope. Flip the, the sides. Got three. guys going the other way. Here's Tannehill. Complete. Smith has it. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down. Oh, timeout. Y'all going a little too fast. My defense to get some breathers in. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Tannehill. Screen. Get him. Tackle him. Let's go. So he stopped for no gain. And that'll bring up fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass? That's what I'm talking about. Supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards. Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. A nice return there of All right, Tua. This is where we need you to come in. Give us some good play. So here are the Lions to take over. They picked up the win last week over the Washington Commanders and are in a good spot to earn another one as they start this next series. Why would you go that way? Why wouldn't you go the way the run is designed, bro? Give him a yard up to the 42. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They run it again. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. They went with the run pass option, and I don't know if the option really mattered there because the defense was ready. So many times you put the defense at a disadvantage because you have those multiple options, but when they read their keys and play it correctly, sometimes the result goes in their favor. We'll see what they have drawn up here a little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Throwing now Hop is Chugabailoa. 
Beautiful. And they'll get this down to the 42 yard line. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. Where's the P.I.? Where is the P.I.? You're just counting on your receiver to find it, adjust before the defensive back can get his head around. In this case, though, the DB matched it move for move and knocked it away. And they're going to work this third in inches. We have use check. So we have time use check. Second of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Get it. Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and 10. No, that's not what I like to see. <clears throat> not what I want to see. So second and long, you got to be careful not to fall out of field goal. Another try after the first down sack. Tua. That's going to be caught. Touchdown. Tua done hit it. Hey, Tua done get it. Hey, hey. <laughs> Sorry about that. Did not mean to hit the thing. Look at that wide open across the middle, bro. defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there. Unable to do so. That is the amount of throwing that I knew Tua was capable of when we got him. Like, don't get me wrong. Uh, I got him for his legs and his longevity. Because, well, I mean, really, you can't say longevity because <laughs> golf is going to be around for a hot minute, too. But I just feel like Tua is going to be a better fit. Plus, this is a fantasy draft. Uh, White go with the same quarterback we have in real life. <laughs> this is a big divisional game, too. This is essentially two games. Divisional games are essentially two games, and it makes me happy when we win one. Ooh. Look at him. We got Lions fans in the house. We made the trip to Minnesota. Took the weekend off. Going to his own. Going to his own. He's going to try and throw the ball. He rushed four and get there. Told you. Told you. Go blitz. Who are we bringing in? Yeah, so but uh, bringing in Bobby. Bobby Russian. This time they stay on the ground, and this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. That's the end of the first half. End of the first half, baby. That was a pretty good first half. Um, the running wasn't the best. Look at that, six rushing yards. Mm, two rushing yards to play. That's not bad, but like I'm not a big fan of that. Time to give you folks at home a look around the NFL. Look around the NFL. Coach. So let's With get the to coach. It. We'll begin out in the windy city of Chicago. And as they approach halftime, it's the Bears. Sam Darnold. Devin Singletary with a touchdown Ooh. run. All right, all right. From there, we head over to MetLife Stadium to check in on the Jets. And they've got the lead in their ball game over the visiting Cincinnati Bengals. <laughs> Joe Mixon. A couple of touchdown runs. Mac Jones on the Bengals? How do I feel about North that? Carolina. Check on the Panthers at home at Bank of America Stadium. And they've got the lead in their ball Pays game Hill. over the visiting North Carolina. Christian Saints. McCaffrey back on the Christian Panthers. With a couple of touchdowns oh, there. man. Time now for a check of the next gen stats. In how we doing? How we doing? For the Lions. And despite the big lead, they really did next to nothing throwing the football. At least in terms of yardage. We'll see how aggressive they want to be going forward. Meanwhile, for the Vikings, we check on their numbers on the ground in the first half. 
as they know they'll need to be better to overcome this halftime deficit. Final adjustments being made in the locker rooms. We're just about right. ready for uh, the second half from Minneapolis. And for the call, let's rejoin Brandon and Charles. Throw a medium and... Bet. We get it at halftime. See, and this is the reason why I kick at the beginning of the game. Because we either we either down at halftime and we need the ball back. So we need to get as many points as possible. Or we're up at halftime and we can just drive in the freaking goal. Yeah, you always kick it at the beginning. There's no reason, in my opinion, to kick it to like receive the ball at the beginning of the game. No reason. Like, I don't believe in it. They start the second half here with Williams. The beautiful run, baby. The that beautiful run. Get out a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Williams gonna get He's not a workhorse. Um that's why we want like that's why, heck, that's why we got rid of him in real life. Um, he's not the workhorse. He's definitely the show player. He is the good number two, but our number one got hurt, so I want Lockett to go. Run that beat. Run that beat. Run that beat. Get rid of it. Come on. What? All right, all right. That was very unfortunate. After the sack on first down, Tua Samuel bringing in the slam. Let's go. Let's go, baby. That is what I'm talking about. I mean, we have Julio Jones, Tyler Lockett, and Mercedes Lewis out there. I don't know if it's effort. I don't know if it's technique. We have some gunners, so yeah, boy, now you see him, now you don't. Excellent move. Nice run winds up getting about six. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. On second down and four, Tua. That's going to be caught by Ooh, Samuel. Curtis Samuel. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 18. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. It's pretty cut and dry. Like. Inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Now we give up the middle to Williams. <laughs> that is beautiful. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. And now they're in the hurry up. Oh. They'll try and run. This is Williams. They stop short. Down at the one. Had the great move. Williams on the one. Williams on the one. Behind the fullback. Can he butter his way in there? He sure can. That's number two on the season. No. That's a third. Third. Is he gonna get 17? Like, is, is he gonna get 17 in the game too? Man, his butter when he's on the few couple yard lines. It's in there. Look at that down the seed. Make a miss. And this is just an offense that's imposing its will right now. You name it, they're able to do it. If you're the play caller, whatever you want. There are so many talented offensive players. Like, you don't have to get the best of the best. Um, even though we've got really good weapons. Uh, but boy howdy let me tell you what you just need a decent quarterback and a good defense no run back here down to a knee and this drive will start at the 25 it's the vikings turn on offense we get ready for their first possession of the second half all right Come on, what are we doing? We'll come out and man for the first one. Let's see. 
Yeah, yeah, I don't know what's up. Like, is Leonard Cornet? Let's check that thing real quick. Uh, coaching medical center. Like, we have Dalton Schultz, he's injured, but bro, let me tell you what, Mercedes was putting in the work. Uh, so, where is... Oh. If he's their second string, why wouldn't... And Leonard Fournette is younger than... Same age as Ezekiel. Hmm. I think Leonard Fournette's been around for years and years and years, bro. Uh, oh, he caught that? Yep, he caught it. All right, we're not challenging that. Chicago is taking it to Houston. Holy smokes. Now a play fake, and it's Tannehill. Oh, this one incomplete. Chicago is taking it to Houston. That's what I like to see. And no, it's not. I want Houston take it to Chicago. I want to keep the uh, O2 win this in the division the oh green plays but green, <clears throat> green bay is playing the o2 tampa so they're probably gonna go 3-0 i'm not a big fan i don't want to have a good division like i wanted to have an easy ride and so when i seen that the vikings and the bears were terrible i was like yeah Let's run out the third quarter. All right, all right. They're just running out the third quarter. See how it is. Don't make your way to the parking lot. Yep. Yeah. 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 Fourth quarter is where the Lions get nasty and mean. It's ending. The offense on third down, not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This is third and 10. Now Tannehill. Oh, they got it. Not too bad for them. Here's Tannehill. That's caught by his tight end, Uzama. He's using the tight end a lot now. I'm not ready for this man to use the tight end so much. Okay, so they gave up the completion, but I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication, and as he dragged across He was out anyway. He was going to be out anyway. Wow, bro. What was that? Leave it at the line. The coach knows what plays to call. Leave it at the line. I told you, leave it at the line. Defensively, they were ready for that. A full on blitz on fourth down, and they stop him short of the marker. Oh, and someone's got to feel really good about that, and that's the defensive coordinator. He dialed up a great run blitz defense, and they hit it just right. Stack that thing up. They're going to feel awesome going to the bench after that big play. Oh, my. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 
Bucks rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. Now they'll throw with Tagovailoa. He'll get this one into the hands of Lewis. Beautiful. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Throwing again on second down. Tua. He's going to let this go. Back to the end zone. That's going to be and two. Third and two, we just handed off to Jamal. He should be able to get those two yards. Almost makes you start to feel for the defense and root for them a little bit too. They go back to the ground with Williams. I right, don't want him getting hurt. First here as he's taken down at the 25. It'll be a gain of six. Oh, he's checking. Moves the chains as well. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. They have six minutes left. No better way to close Come on, Aaron Rodgers. They're actually one at Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and do the same thing again. You check and give him the ball. First man through. It's the fullback use check. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. No. This is where, you know, fourth quarter, you got the lead, you give it to the big guy. Defensively kind of sucks the will out of them, doesn't it? Because they don't now want to tackle him right now check. this late in the game. Hey, well, you say that with accusatory tones. I mean, <laughs> you know, but you're exactly right. I know it's not something we actually want to talk about, but as a defender, four quarters worth of trying to bring people down, two <laughs> quarters worth of pounding, and now late in the game, here comes that big guy coming at you. And a lot of guys are wondering where they want to come up and make that tackle at this stage of the game. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Demario Davis there. That's what I'm talking about. Now a man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Williams. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. An extra defender in the secondary. Third and one. Here on third down. Again, it's Williams, and he will get into the end zone. It's Williams got three for the day, three for the day, bro. Ridiculous. And you see the defense commit to the run so often in these situations. There's always that little bit of hesitancy, isn't there, partner? Thinking that they may. Tua tore him up over the freaking air, so we were able to just. In the previous one, so they were so worried about Tua taking him out. Of mm, beautiful. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. They just kind of crumbled to the run there. Yeah, they it it's over. Aaron Rodgers will be able to come back. 18 points, 17 points. <clears throat> Dang, Indianapolis gave it to the Chiefs. Oh, gave it to him, bro. Tannehill on first down. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. It just seems like Raven hasn't been a lot of Rock Purdy. Come on, bud. On this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page. You're better than that. You're better than that, Purdy. The same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worth it. Uh, They've got to find a way to start matching oh, each other's wow. movements. Oh, Tennessee, good job clutching out the their first win of the season. Now Tannehill. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Let's go. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like Miami this. giving it to Not Buffalo. I got Josh Allen still on Buffalo. Here's off Richter now, the punter, as he sends this one away. Now it's Lockett. Oh, a heck of a move. Oh, man. 
It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And control of the football, switching hands here with very little time remaining in this contest. Oh, the Jets gave it to Cincinnati. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. Yeah, they're not going to stop it at all. That is a beautiful win. So this one's over. It's a that is a beautiful wins. divisional win. Charles, keeping the Vikings, what, three? Oh, and three? Yeah, we moved to two and one. Through the shutout, Adam. I think they worked in concert together. What I like about the offense is they held the ball. Williams and two of them. Yeah. Exactly what they were looking for in this one. We get Jacobs back. It's just going to be great. The entire time. So when you do that and you're out there. That is. We didn't have. Wow. Wow. We didn't hit our things because I forgot what our goals were. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and view this breakout player. All right. Arden Key is now a star. And we got 5,000 more experience. Let's go. Let's go. We got one new injury. How long is he going to be out for? Jamie Collins is out for four weeks. Eek. That is unfortunate. But that puts us at two and one. And uh, I'm not sure what the Packers are going to be. We'll go ahead and we we'll wait and we'll advance the score next week. We'll see how everybody does. So thank you everyone for showing up and showing out and watching this back. Um, if you guys are liking this, make sure you get liking this series. Make sure you give me a like and subscribe. Comment on what you guys think we should do. Uh, any upgrades you think we should make. Any changes to like coaching stats or uh, what we're going for scheme wise. Anything like that. Because I think we're starting to fall into into place. So you guys definitely let me know how you're feeling, and we'll keep it going from there. This has been awesome, Big Night Gaming, and I am out of here.